Hey love, hey love. Oh, look at this one. This was cute. She just put some lip gloss on too. And it looks like she actually did. Look at that. All right, so today I decided to do a little bit of exercise. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to upload my exercise videos with the type of music that I'm playing because a lot of times when I try to upload the videos, at least on TikTok, sometimes they don't accept my uh, music. And then if I, of course, do it on YouTube, then they definitely have issues with the music. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about my exercise videos. I may have to do a voiceover of some sort and um, figure it out from there. But I wanted to let you guys know that the weight uh, loss is, the, you could tell, you can see it in my face. Um, also, I've been able to have a little bit more strength. I did eight little circles around my little park area. When I say circles, this is a very small circle, not too far from the vehicle. So I did that type of exercise today. I did some walking. And then the next time around, I'm gonna try to double it. But when I got to that eight little circle, I could really feel it. Uh, my hips especially, I'm not sure if that will ever be corrected, but I'm assuming if I strengthen those muscles, that the pain will not be so intense like it is right now. So I'm working on it. And also, I have been working on some other content, but I don't really want to talk about it quite yet until I know 100% for sure that that's what I'm going to be delivering to you on this channel. But for now, of course, anytime I catch a sale, you will see the sale too. I had a comment about uh, the Carl's Jr. Hardy's 99 cent chicken sandwich. Yes, that was like just yesterday and it was on sale. So if they haven't taken it down yet, it should still be 99 cents at um, the California location that I go to. So I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that everyone is finding those resources that they need so they can sk still get those good prices like a 99 cents spicy chicken sandwich. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. I'm always looking for a good deal. I don't eat a lot. So I know my weight has to come from health uh, condition and also uh, mobility issues. So I know what that issue is. The just strange for me is that I've been disabled for a minute and I didn't have the weight issue, um, but I also had not been hit by a vehicle at that time. So a lot of took place. And then we also had the pandemic where uh, things were closed down and of course we just weren't doing our, our regular routines and that included myself so i'm looking forward to uh showing off my weight loss uh, i don't have anything really spectacular to put on other than the fact that you'll be looking at the way less body uh, with less fat so uh, that works for me and because i wasn't walking i didn't feel the pain of the extra weight so just all of this uh, played a role in uh, my current condition. And I'm also looking for uh, a way to, let's see here, let's try to do a little bit, little bit more graphic design. I love graphic designs. I have not been doing graphic designs because I just haven't had the setup to do what I love. And the graphic de designs take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and sketching, doing my own sketches and so forth. A lot of the designs that I do is just stuff that you get off of TikTok and you mix it with something or something you find on the internet and you kind of change the coloring of it. But it's not really what I design, 100% what I design. Yes, I designed it on, you know, the, the paper or on the... Um, uh, website that has the different little uh, memes and stickers and you know different artistic type designs that I put together to put something together on TikTok but it's not necessarily my own stuff and so my own stuff I'm not sure if I will be putting it on a, just a regular commercial type social media like a TikTok or a YouTube I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because it's going to be my design and of course 
Uh, I don't want anyone just taking that design and doing whatever they, that they want with it. So I'm, I'm looking at some things that I do want to share with you because I've been in college since high school when they used to have the uh, Excel courses that you could take and get college credit. So some of that stuff I do want to share <laughs> because, um, you know, it's something that I know and it's something that someone else may enjoy too. So I'm looking at things that I think that you may actually enjoy along with the storytelling. So as far as uh, the vehicle, that's still an issue. I'm still looking for a good mechanic, someone who can help repair the vehicle. Still looking for an attorney for someone who can assist me with uh, the damages that were done at the Jeep dealership. But I need an attorney for quite a few things at this point. So I, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I've done as good as I have without having the uh, support because these programs are supposed to help you during those times of needs are, are not uh, sufficient. Um, they are about like our system, uh, the way that things are here in America. That's about how these programs are run. And it's a hot mess. And it's unfortunate because you really need help, especially when you're disabled. It's, it's not a gimmick. It, you have to jump through a lot of hoops before they actually give you assistance. And even then, if you get any kind of money, now this is a part that's really strange to me. If you get, say, uh, $20 extra, they take it from uh, the EBT. So even though you're below, below the property line, because in order for you to even get EBT, you have to be at a certain income level. And that income level for one person is below the property line. So when they take that extra $20, it's very harmful for your, your diet, for trying to keep a healthy diet, because they keep taking away that money, taking away that money. And when I tell you that it's like t below 20, 20,000, something like that, it, it is very low. And you have your rent you have to pay, even if you're a roommate. You have stuff that you have to pay for, even if you have a used vehicle that don't have a car payment. You still have maintenance. You still have gas. So I'm surprised that there hasn't been an attorney to at least help uh, the elderly and the disabled to resolve that issue. That if you're below the property line and you're below the amount of money that they tell you that you uh, can't make in order to even receive the assistance, then they shouldn't be taking away from you. That's stressful alone. It, that's just a stressful situation. It's an unnecessary stressful situation. And that's what I find myself dealing with is what can I do because they're not trying to help. Even a lot of these programs that they have where they say, come get a box of food. Well, I have a particular diet and most people who are disabled or elderly do have a particular diet of things that they cannot eat, can and cannot eat. And all I was getting was lettuce and some grapes. Now I do love salads, but I felt like I was being um, dismissed. My needs were not met. And then they had an attitude about it when I said something about it. So. I wanted to start my own nonprofit, but there's other areas that I'd rather work in than handing out food. I think that my um, skills can be more valuable elsewhere than trying to pick up in an area where you just need to have a talk with a couple of people and straighten some things out. But from what I've seen, they're not trying to straighten it out. I mean, there's probably I should do like a deep dive when it comes to these assistant programs where they're to help you uh, so you don't fall through the cracks, so to speak. But instead, I find that they have a different agenda. And that agenda sometimes doesn't include certain people, especially if you're an individual and you're disabled and you're up there in age. Now, if you have a family or some children, you may be better off than someone who does not um, put any children on their uh, application. And I did that because of what happened to me down south. So I wasn't about to put anybody else on anything else that I have going on because that experience was never addressed. And so to me, I feel that um, I choose to go ahead and try to be YouTube 
but they don't choose to be 